How's it going? This is Prince with North Carolina Mobile Detailing. And um, just want to shoot this video real quick. I'm just walking around the neighborhood. It's about 6 a.m. where I live at in North Carolina. Um, just want to shoot this video real quick about the Ten Commandments of Mobile Detailing. I'll probably do a part two and a part three of it. If you like it, please hit like and subscribe. Um, and rule number one, commandment number one, and these are not in any particular order, but commandment number one, sell like your life depends upon it. Why? Because it does. It depends on it. In any kind of business that you're into, you're going to have to sell, right? And some guys, I know some guys, it's like, you know, they're, they're the greatest detailer that ever existed on this side of the universe. <laughs> I said that one time in the video, but anyway, um, but it doesn't matter how good you are if you don't have any clients. So you need to sell, sell, sell. So even your offline and your online need to be like top notch. You know, um, offline is pretty much like flyers and you know um, setting up parties um, and uh, libraries. Right, you need to hand out flyers at the library. The library lets you post your put your post your um, flyer inside. At least they do here in North Carolina. And if you go to the library where I live at, like you see, <laughs> I put like 50 flyers up there because it's free. It's free advertising, so take full advantage of it. Um, online, any kind of social networks, you want to you want to kill that. Um, any kind of review like sites like Yelp or Angie's List. Um, it's cool to be on there, but you need to understand that they're in the business of making money. And um, yeah, they'll let you put it on there for free, but the people who have paid advertisement, they're gonna put their um, customers in front. So like, let's say you're in a certain zip code, right? And you might be the closest to that client, but the client will never know because it's three people ahead of you or five people ahead of you. They're gonna make sure that the people who pay is right up in the front. And that's cool. That's cool. I don't like Yelp. I don't like Angie's List. You know, I'm on there. Um, I have done um, paid advertisement with Angie's List, but I haven't done it with um, Yelp because I didn't like their their program. I don't like Angie's List program at all either. Um, but most of the time, it's, it's basically the funnel that you use is, is you have to have paid advertisement at some point. You know, but if starting out and you don't have any bread, you don't have any money whatsoever, then you go with your free stuff and you do your offline stuff. Like you can go to the you can go to the um you can go to the uh, library and print them joints out, print out flyers for like ten cent each. So that's what you really want to do. If if you don't have any money whatsoever, after that you need to learn um, SEO. You need to learn how to um, do paid advertisement. Especially on Google. Google is the biggest funnel. Um, you really need to be on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. All the big, all the big search engines. You have to be on there. Um, and I'm just assuming that you have a website. Um, and that's number two. Number two. Commandment number two. You need to have a website because all of your clients are online. Um, especially if you're dealing with like Craigslist or anything like that. And especially, yeah, Craigslist. You need to dominate Craigslist. Just kill it. I get kicked off of Craigslist every other day, but I got about 75 accounts that we keep up with, you know, and that's another beautiful thing. Craigslist algorithm is so, that mug is like, it's a beast. I'll be honest with you, it catch me every now and then. But um, what I've learned is that anywhere where you're posting, let's say if I'm posting in North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, I'm posting in Durham, North Carolina, right? One time I was posting I was in Durham, North Carolina, but I'm posting in South Carolina, right? Because we got guys that have traveled all the way to South Carolina. It's like, I don't know, like 200 miles and go get this work and come back. So, um, got kicked off because um, the zip code where I was, it, it, the Craigslist know where you're posting at. So I narrowed it back down and we're just doing, uh, we're just doing um, our local city. Right or our local within within a, like a 50 mile radius, right? And so, with that being said, you kill that joint, right? Kill it, and you don't want to you don't want to um, you don't want the people to 
just call you from Craigslist. It's cool if they call you from Craigslist, but you really want to funnel those those people back to your website. So just say, you know, I usually put up there, check out our daily specials in detailing.com right? My phone number's up there, so they can call me if they want to. And I'll tell them the daily special doesn't matter. But I really want these people to funnel back to my website. The reason why, because the more clicks you get, the more relevant you are in Google. So the higher you'll be organically. And what you want to do is work organically. You want all your, your um, websites to be organic and get organic traffic because that's just like free money, baby. People coming directly to you and you still need paid traffic. No problem. You need paid traffic, but if you can build up your 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 website to where it's just getting paid traffic, which is why these social medias are out here. You know, um I wouldn't suggest that you go on there and just um buy this detail package, buy this detail package, buy this detail. I wouldn't do that. I would just um this is how you have you seen some of my videos? This is how you uh, clean a car without water. This is how you clean the rims without water. This is how you do that, da, 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 da. And some people like it and they go on. And sometimes, a lot of times I put just like some, you know, some crazy exotic car like a Bugatti up here, you know, and I put some kind of business quote up there. And people like it and they start following, you know, so when you drop something. So I think my Instagram account right now is like, with North Carolina Mobile Detail, and anyway, it's like uh, at this very moment, it's like at 2800 or 2700. And so after that, after that's done, um, you're just pushing traffic back to your website. And that's what you really want. You just want to push, 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 push. And it takes time for this thing to work. It takes time for it to work. Um, number three, um, you're going to have to have, you're going to have to have um, prices that are relevant to both sides of the coin so you got some high-end prices and you got some low-end prices you know um, I try to stick with the high end <clears throat> you know but if you ever get slow man you got the low end so you know as long as you create that funnel that money machine where it's always coming in and that's what you really want to do um, what was that that was rule number Um, commandment let's say this commandment number three commandment number three is um, always do more than what is expected all right and this is just always and this is this is the killer this is a killer um i know some guys they they'll never they'll never come to a place where um, money is always flowing to them. They'll never, they'll never have that because they don't ever give more than what is actually asked for. Now it's cool if a person asks for a full detail and they pay for the full detail and, and you gave it to them. Hey, uh, you know, there's, there's no problem with that. However, if, if the person was like, man, I got some scratches on there. I know it's not in the package, but you know, if you can look out for me, dude, I look out for him. I ain't expecting nothing out of it because one thing for sure is that. Um, and not to sound too churchy or too spiritual or anything like that, but the way this universe works is through giving. So like when a child is born, the child gives air. And then, well, the child screams first, right? As soon as the child is born. Ah! And after it exhausts itself like that, it pulls in air. And from that point, give, come back, give, come back. And that's how the universe works, but it, but it works like this. You're not getting anything until you give, right? You're not getting anything until you give. So, And it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It can be your talent. It can be your time. It can be me doing this video for whoever is watching this video. It's giving. And as you give, the money comes back to you. Things come back to you. Remarkable. You can believe it or not believe it. I don't care. Um, video getting kind of long, so I'm gonna cut it short um, to where I'm at. And I'll continue with a part two and a part three. Um, short. Uh, yeah, because I want to talk about to expand beyond mobile. Until right. next time.